In this video, we start to learn about a special quantity that's associated with all square matrices. A determinant is a number associated with a square matrix, and its value depends on the entries of the matrix. The determinant actually provides a lot of useful information about the matrix, and also any problems that we're using to uh, describe using, uh, we're going to describe using this matrix. Uh, for example, if a determinant of a matrix is zero, we can confidently say that that matrix has no inverse. In other words, we can't find a matrix such that A, A inverse is equal to the identity matrix. Now that might seem uh, pretty useless at the moment, but it's actually quite a useful thing. Determinants are also used to find things called eigenvalues. And these are important in quantum mechanics and vibration analysis and all sorts of different applications in the real world. Determinants also tell us about the nature of solutions to linear systems of equations. That's one of the big uses of matrices. In this video, we're only going to look at how to calculate determinants for two by two square matrix, matrices, so two row by two column. Uh, later though, we'll look at larger matrices because they use a bit more complicated method, but it also depends on the determinant of a two by two matrix. So here's the rule for it. The determinant of a two by two matrix, let's call it A, which has entries A, B, C, and D, is written det A, or A with two vertical bars around it, and it's just given by AD minus BC. Now you might notice that that looks like a cross when you note which ones that is. A times D take away B times C. So I always think of it as a crisscross sort of method. So the determinant of A is AD minus B whenever A is a two by two matrix. Let's try that out in an example. We've got to calculate the determinant of the matrix three, two, minus six, minus four. And then we're asked, does A have an inverse matrix? So that's one of those uses again. So let's have a look. The determinant of A is simply going to be given by doing that crisscross that I was talking about before. So we're going to go 3 times minus 4 take away. Remember, it's a take away. 2 by minus 6. So we've got minus 12 take minus plus 12, which equals 0. Now remember I was saying right at the start that if the determinant is zero, a matrix will have no inverse. So we can say an answer to the second question. In this case, A has no inverse because its determinant is equal to zero. Okay, so that's how we calculate determinants of two by two matrices. Fairly easy. Uh, that is one of the key elements, though, of determining a matrix determinant for a bigger matrix. Anyway, for now, probably not much to do here except for attempting the exercises from the worksheet. And if you think you need to, note down that rule for two by two determinants in your cheat sheet.